a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Beer Beer is one of the oldest and most widely consumed alcoholic drinks in the world, and the third most popular drink overall after water and tea. Beer is brewed from cereal grains, most commonly from malted barley. Though wheat, maize, and rice are also used. During the brewing process, fermentation of the starch sugars in the wort produces ethanol and carbonation in the resulting beer. Most modern beer is brewed with hops, which add bitterness and other flavors and act as a natural preservative and stabilizing agent. Other flavoring agents such as groot, herbs, or fruits may be included or used instead of hops. In commercial brewing, the natural carbonation effect is often removed during processing and replaced with forced carbonation. Some of humanity's earliest known writings refer to the production and distribution of beer. The Code of Hammurabi included laws regulating beer and beer parlors, and the hymn to Ninkasi, a prayer to the Mesopotamian goddess of beer, served as both a prayer and as a method of remembering the recipe for beer in a culture with few literate people. Beer is distributed in bottles and cans and is also commonly available on draft, particularly in pubs and bars. The brewing industry is a global business, consisting of several dominant multinational companies and many thousands of smaller producers ranging from brew pubs to regional breweries. The strength of modern beer is usually around 4% to 6% alcohol by volume, although it may vary between half a percent and 20% with some breweries creating examples of 40% ABV and above. Beer forms part of the culture of many nations and is associated with social traditions such as beer festivals, as well as a rich pub culture involving activities like pub crawling and pub games. History Beer is one of the world's oldest prepared drinks. The earliest archaeological evidence of fermentation consists of 13,000-year-old residues of a beer with the consistency of gruel, used by the semi-nomadic Natchfians for ritual feasting, at the Rakafet cave in the Carmel Mountains near Haifa in Israel. There is evidence that beer was produced at Bebekli Tepe during the pre-pottery Neolithic. The earliest clear chemical evidence of beer produced from barley dates to about 3500. 3100 BC, from the site of Godin Tepe in the Zagros Mountains of western Iran. It is possible, but not proven, that it dates back even further, to about 10,000 BC, when cereal was first farmed. Beer is recorded in the written history of ancient Iraq and ancient Egypt, and archaeologists speculate that beer was instrumental in the formation of civilizations. Approximately 5,000 years ago, workers in the city of Uruk were paid by their employers in beer. During the building of the Great Pyramids in Giza, Egypt, each worker got a daily ration of 4 to 5 litres of beer, which served as both nutrition and refreshment that was crucial to the pyramid's construction. Some of the earliest Sumerian writings contain references to beer. Examples include a prayer to the goddess Ninkasi, known as the Hint to Ninkasi which served as both a prayer as well as a method of remembering the recipe for beer in a culture with few literate people, and the ancient advice to Gilgamesh, recorded in the Epic of Gilgamesh. By the alewife Sadome, at least in part, have referred to the consumption of beer. The Ebla tablets, discovered in 1974 in Ebla, Syria, show that beer was produced in the city in 2500 BC, a fermented drink using rice, and fruit was made in China around 7000 BC. Unlike sake, mold was not used to sacrifice the rice. The rice was probably prepared for fermentation by chewing or malting. Almost any substance containing sugar can naturally undergo alcoholic fermentation. It is likely that many cultures, on observing that a sweet liquid could be obtained from a source of starch, independently invented beer. Bread and beer increased prosperity to a level that allowed time for development of other technologies and contributed to the building of civilizations. Xenophon noted that during his travels, beer was being produced in Armenia. Beer was spread through Europe by Germanic and Celtic tribes as far back as 3000 BC, and it was mainly brewed on a domestic scale. The product that the early Europeans drank might not be recognized as beer by most people today. 
Alongside the basic starch sauce, the early European beers might contain fruits, honey, numerous types of plants, spices, and other substances such as narcotic herbs. What they did not contain was hops, as that was a later addition. First mentioned in Europe around 822 by a Carolingian abbot and again in 1067 by Abbess Hildegard of Bingen. In 1516, William IV, Duke of Bavaria, adopted the Rienhegebot, perhaps the oldest food quality regulation still in use in the 21st century, according to which the only allowed ingredients of beer are water, hops, and barley malt. Beer produced before the Industrial Revolution continued to be made and sold on a domestic scale. Although by the 7th century AD, beer was also being produced and sold by European monasteries. During the Industrial Revolution, the production of beer moved from artisanal manufacture to industrial manufacture, and domestic manufacture ceased to be significant by the end of the 19th century. The development of hydrometers and thermometers changed brewing by allowing the brewer more control of the process and greater knowledge of the results. As of 2007, the brewing industry is a global business, consisting of several dominant multinational companies and many thousands of smaller producers ranging from brew pubs to regional breweries. As of 2006, more than 133 billion litres, the equivalent of a cube 510 metres on a side of beer are sold per year, producing total global revenues of $294.5 billion. In 2010, China's beer consumption hit 450 million hectoliters, or nearly twice that of the United States, but only 5% sold were premium draft beers, compared with 50% in France and Germany. Brewing The process of making beer is known as brewing. A dedicated building for the making of beer is called a brewery, though beer can be made in the home and has been for much of its history. A company that makes beer is called either a brewery or a brewing company. Beer made on a domestic scale for non-commercial reasons is classified as home brewing regardless of where it is made. Though most home brewed beer is made in the home, brewing beer is subject to legislation and taxation in developed countries which from the late 19th century largely restricted brewing to a commercial operation only. However, the UK government relaxed legislation in 1963, followed by Australia in 1972 and the US in 1978, allowing home brewing to become a popular hobby. The purpose of brewing is to convert the starch sauce into a sugary liquid called wort and to convert the wort into the alcoholic drink known as beer in a fermentation process affected by yeast. The first step, where the wort is prepared by mixing the starch sauce with hot water, is known as mashing. Hot water is mixed with crushed malt or malts in a mash tun. The mashing process takes around one to two hours, during which the starches are converted to sugars, and then the sweet wort is drained off the grains. The grains are now washed in a process known as sparging. This washing allows the brewer to gather as much of the fermentable liquid from the grains as possible. The process of filtering the spent grain from the wort in sparge water is called wort separation. The traditional process for wort separation is lautering, in which the grain bed itself serves as the filter medium. Some modern breweries prefer the use of filter frames which allow a more finely ground grist. Most modern breweries use a continuous sparge collecting the original wort and the sparge water together. However, it is possible to collect a second or even third wash with the not quite spent grains as separate batches. Each run would produce a weaker wort and thus a weaker beer. This process is known as second runnings. Brewing with several runnings is called party guile brewing. The sweet wort collected from sparging is put into a kettle or copper and boiled, usually for about one hour. During boiling, water in the wort evaporates, but the sugars and other components of the wort remain. This allows more efficient use of the starch sources in the beer. Boiling also destroys any remaining enzymes left over from the mashing stage. Hops are added during boiling as a source of bitterness, flavor and aroma. Hops may be added at more than one point during the boil. The longer the hops are boiled, the more bitterness they contribute but the less hop flavor and aroma remains in the beer. After boiling, 
the hot wort is now cooled, ready for the yeast. In some breweries, the hopped wort may pass through a hop bag, which is a small vat filled with hops, to add aromatic hop flavoring and to act as a filter. But usually the hopped wort is simply cooled for the fermenter, where the yeast is added. During fermentation, the wort becomes beer in a process which requires a week to months depending on the type of yeast and strength of the beer. In addition to producing ethanol, fine particulate matter suspended in the wort settles during fermentation. Once fermentation is complete, the yeast also settles, leaving the beer clear. During fermentation most of the carbon dioxide is allowed to escape through a trap and the beer is left with carbonation of only about one atmosphere of pressure. The carbonation is often increased either by, by transferring the beer to a pressure vessel such as a keg and introducing pressurized carbon dioxide, or by transferring it before the fermentation is finished so that carbon dioxide pressure builds up inside the container as the fermentation finishes. Sometimes the beer is put unfiltered into bottles with some added sugar, which then produces the desired amount of carbon dioxide inside the bottle. Fermentation is sometimes carried out in two stages, primary and secondary. Once most of the alcohol has been produced during primary fermentation, the beer is transferred to a new vessel and allowed a period of secondary fermentation. Secondary fermentation is used when the beer requires long storage before packaging or greater clarity. When the beer has fermented, it is packaged either into casks for cask ale or kegs, aluminium cans, or bottles for other sorts of beer. Ingredients The basic ingredients of beer are water, a starch sauce, such as malted barley, able to be sacrificed and fermented, a brewer's yeast to produce the fermentation, and a flavoring such as hops. A mixture of starch sauces may be used, with a secondary starch sauce, such as maize, rice or sugar, often being termed an adjunct, especially when used as a lower-cost substitute for malted barley. Less widely used starch sources include millet, sorghum and cassava root in Africa, and potato in Brazil, and agave in Mexico, among others. The amount of each starch sauce in a beer recipe is collectively called the grain bill. Water is the main ingredient of beer, accounting for 93% of its weight. Though water itself is, ideally, flavorless. Its level of dissolved minerals, specifically, bicarbonate iron, does influence beer's finished taste. Due to the mineral properties of each region's water, specific areas were originally the sole producers of certain types of beer each identifiable by regional characteristics. Regional geology accords that Dublin's hard water is well suited to making stout, such as Guinness. While the Plazen region's soft water is ideal for brewing Pilsner, such as Pilsner Urquell, the waters of Burton in England contain gypsum, which benefits making pale ale to such a degree that brewers of pale ales will add gypsum to the local water in a process known as Burtonization. The starch sauce, termed as the mash ingredients, in a beer provides the fermentable material and is a key determinant of the strength and flavor of the beer. The most common starch sauce used in beer is malted grain. Grain is malted by soaking it in water, allowing it to begin germination, and then drying the partially germinated grain in a kiln. Malting grain produces enzymes that convert starches in the grain into fermentable sugars. Different roasting times, and temperatures are used to produce different colors of malt from the same grain. Darker malts will produce darker beers. Nearly all beer includes barley malt as the majority of the starch. This is because its fibrous hull remains attached to the grain during threshing. After malting, barley is milled, which finally removes the hull, breaking it into large pieces. These pieces remain with the grain during the mash and act as a filter bed during lautering when sweet wort is separated from insoluble grain material. Other malted and unmalted grains may be used. Some brewers have produced gluten-free beer, made with sorghum with no barley malt, for those who cannot consume gluten-containing grains like wheat, barley, and rye. Flavoring beer is the sole major commercial use of hops. The flower of the hop vine is used as a flavoring and preservative agent in nearly all beer made today. The flowers themselves are often called, hops. 
The first historical mention of the use of hops in beer was from 822 AD in monastery rules written by Adelhar the Elder, also known as Adelid of Corby. Though the date normally given for widespread cultivation of hops for use in beer is the 13th century, before the 13th century, and until the 16th century, during which hops took over as the dominant flavoring, beer was flavored with other plants. For instance, grains of paradise or alahoof, combinations of various aromatic herbs, berries, and even ingredients like wormwood would be combined into a mixture known as groot and used as hops are now used. Some beers today, such as Fruk by the Scottish Heather Ales Company, and Savoie Lancelot by the French Brasserie Lancelot Company, use plants other than hops for flavoring. Hops contain several characteristics that brewers desire in beer. Hops contribute a bitterness that balances the sweetness of the malt. The bitterness of beers is measured on the International Bitterness Unit Scale. Hops contribute floral, citrus, and herbal aromas and flavors to beer. Hops have an antibiotic effect that favors the activity of brewer's yeast over less desirable microorganisms and aids in head retention. The length of time that a foamy head created by carbonation will last. The acidity of hops is a preservative. Yeast is the microorganism that is responsible for fermentation in beer. Yeast metabolizes the sugars extracted from grains, which produces alcohol and carbon dioxide, and thereby turns wort into beer. In addition to fermenting the beer, yeast influences the character and flavor. The dominant types of yeast used to make beer are the top fermenting Saccharomyces cerevisiae and bottom fermenting Saccharomyces pastorianus. Bretonomyces ferments lambics, and Torulaspera delbrookii ferments Bavarian vice beer. Before the role of yeast in fermentation was understood, fermentation involved wild or airborne yeasts. A few styles such as lambics rely on this method today, but most modern fermentation adds pure yeast cultures. Some brewers add one or more clarifying agents or finings to beer which typically precipitate out of the beer along with protein solids and are found only in trace amounts in the finished product. This process makes the beer appear bright and clean, rather than the cloudy appearance of ethnic and older styles of beer such as wheat beers. Examples of clarifying agents include isinglass, obtained from swim bladders of fish, Irish moss, a seaweed, kappa carabinan, from the seaweed kappa ficus cottonii, pellicla, and gelatin. If a beer is marked, suitable for vegans, it was clarified either with seaweed or with artificial agents. Brewing Industry The history of breweries in the 21st century has been one of larger breweries absorbing smaller breweries in order to ensure economy of scale. In 2002 South African breweries bought the North American Miller Brewing Company to found Saab Miller, becoming the second largest brewery, after North American Anheuser-Busch. In 2004 the Belgian Interbrew was the third largest brewery by volume and the Brazilian Ambev was the fifth largest. They merged into InBev, becoming the largest brewery. In 2007, Saab Miller surpassed InBev and Anheuser-Busch when it acquired Royal Grohl's, brewer of Dutch premium beer brand Grohl's in 2007. In 2008, when InBev bought Anheuser-Busch, the new Anheuser-Busch InBev company became again the largest brewer in the world. Ab InBev remains the largest brewery, with Saab Miller second, and Heineken International third. A microbrewery, or craft brewery, produces a limited amount of beer. The maximum amount of beer a brewery can produce and still be classed as a microbrewery varies by region and by authority, though is usually around 15,000 barrels a year. A brew pub is a type of microbrewery that incorporates a pub or other drinking establishment. The highest density of breweries in the world, most of the microbreweries, exists in the German region of Franconia, especially in the district of Upper Franconia, which has about 200 breweries. The Benedictine Wild Stefan Brewery in Bavaria, Germany, can trace its roots to the year 768. As a document from that year refers to a hop garden in the area paying a tithe to the monastery. The brewery was licensed by the city of Freising in 1040, and therefore is the oldest working brewery in the world. Brewing at home is subject to regulation and prohibition in many countries. 
Restrictions on home brewing were lifted in the UK in 1963, Australia followed suit in 1972, and the US in 1978. Though individual states were allowed to pass their own laws limiting production. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?